Deputy Martin, please. Tishik, I think it's fair to say that people are genuinely shocked at the extraordinary cost increase in the National Children's Hospital, up about 126 per cent um, in four years. A remarkable increase, taking into context even the annual construction inflation costs. And people are also very concerned at the prospect of further increases in the cost of the hospital, because of course the contractors will be able to recoup future costs um, where the inflation rate exceeds uh, four per cent um, per annum. And construction inflation, I think, is currently running at anything up to 10, 10 half per cent. The, it's a long cry, Taoiseach, from the 650 million all in uh, that you announced, I think, back in 2016. Um, and we learned that the minister, we learned late last week that the minister was briefed on the 27th of August in a comprehensive note uh, from his assistant secretary, I'm told that the construction budget is, quote, trending very significantly over budget uh, and told at a minimum there's 191 million uh, additional uh, and this wasn't in dispute uh, and then further up the note it says that BAM had submitted further, further 200 million over and above the 191 um, million uh, and all of this didn't in, you know, include VAT, sectoral employment orders and so on um, and yet the note concludes that the CEO would advise the department in the following week now, I'd love to know what did the minister do when he got that note? Did the minister uh, talk to his secretary general in the, de in the department about this? Was it raised at the management, the regular management meeting um, of, of, of the department? Did he seek further briefings? And why didn't the minister alert his government colleague, the Minister for Finance, Pascal O'Donoghue? We really haven't had an explanation because this was a huge overrun, significant impact on the capital budget. And why didn't the minister fully inform the Doyle? Uh, in fact, the Doyle was misled, essentially, um, with the 983 million figure, no mention made of the 191 figure, or in fact that the costs were trending significantly uh, over budget, as the minister would have been apprised of in August uh, in that particular um, note. Uh, and are we to seriously believe, Taoiseach, that the Secretary General of Finance and Health had no discussions about this uh, between August and November of last year, or indeed that the two ministers um, didn't. Because if that is the case, then that raises fundamental issues in terms of the governance, competence and management of the budgetary process um, itself. Was it the case, Teacher, that this project was too big to fail? That politically you had invested too much, uh, too late to stop or, or too late um, to, 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 um, re, to, to uh, relocate? Um, but it seems that there was an extraordinary silence across government on this over a, a long Thank you, uh, period of time. So, Tisha, do you understand how people find these explanations that we have been offered so far incredible? Do you accept, Tisha, that the overall all, all costs will actually be higher than the 1.7 billion uh, because of the inflation issue and the obligations the government has? Um, and do you accept that the Minister for Health should have alerted? the Minister for Finance on this issue as far back as August, and certainly these officials should have alerted uh, the Department of Public Expenditure likewise. Thank you, Deputy. Tisha, please. Thanks, Deputy. I fully uh, understand and appreciate the taxpayers uh, are very annoyed uh, at the way the cost uh, of this project has escalated, and I don't uh, doubt that uh, for uh, a second. Uh, this, of course, uh, is not an issue of taxpayers' money being wasted. In fact, uh, the taxpayers' money hasn't even been spent at this stage. Uh, only about 250 million uh, of the 1.5 million uh, allocated this project has been spent to date. Um, so it's not a case of taxpayers' money being wasted, uh, but it is a case uh, of government and our agents uh, underestimating uh, the cost uh, of this project. Uh, and we have to accept responsibility uh, and be accountable for that. We can't, on the one hand, uh, take the credit for coming in on budget or for bringing the last three major projects in on budget, uh, the M11 in Wexford, M17, M18 in Galway and Lewis Cross City, and not at the same time accept responsibility uh, when things go wrong uh, and when things uh, overrun as they have on this occasion. And we do accept responsibility uh, and we are accountable for it. Uh, the figure that you use, 1.7 billion, as I've said before, includes uh, many aspects of the project uh, that would uh, happen anyway. 
investment in IT, investment in equipment, uh, even if we were not building a new children's hospital, we would have to replace equipment, bring in new IT systems, and you'd be aware that that figure includes 30 or 40 million uh, spent uh, at the Matter site, uh, the failed attempt by previous governments uh, to build a national children's hospital. Uh, but you are correct to say that one of the reasons why the children's hospital uh, has increased uh, in cost uh, is because of construction inflation. It's not the only reason. Um, but it is certainly uh, one of the major reasons as to why the cost is much higher than we had anticipated. Uh, and the contract does provide for further claims uh, that can be made by the contractor uh, if construction inflation uh, exceeds 4%, uh, although we'll have to see how that arises uh, in the periods ahead, period ahead. Uh, in terms of Minister Harris, um, Minister Harris will make a statement to the Dáil this afternoon. Um, I'm not going to preempt his statement. Obviously, he will make that this afternoon. Um, but he has spent nine hours... Uh, in front of two committees um, answering uh, questions on this matter uh, and as Secretary General Mr Breslin has done the same and I think over the course of those nine hours uh, if you have a chance to read over that and study the questions that they were asked uh, the questioning from uh, members of the House particularly your own members was very thorough and I believe that, that the uh, Minister and the Sec Gen have answered all those questions to the best of their ability already. Thank you Taoiseach. Taoiseach. One of the defining characteristics of the government's response to this issue from the outset has been a refusal to actually to accept any error, except that you got it wrong. I mean, the minister as late as the 6th of February to the Health Committee was saying, when he was asked about the cost, does he believe it's a reasonable cost for the National Children's Hospital? And he replied, yes, it's a reasonable cost, it's a reasonable value. Um, the PwC have been appointed by the government. Um, obviously, something's wrong here. We can't actually say that the taxpayer hasn't been ripped off here. Um, I mean, when you, the, memos, the memos are now beginning to come in, and the interaction between uh, the hospital board and so on, and, and the department and the contractors. Uh, at one stage, the contractor is threatening to, um, that it might have to reconsider its participation in the project. Um, it's just extraordinary stuff. Uh, but it seems government was paralysed, powerless, uh, to do anything, but what is quite extraordinary is one that the government is of the view and the minister is of the view that this represents uh, a reasonable cost for the hospital, the 1.7 billion. Uh, is that still your position? Thank um, you, and also, of course, uh, we haven't had a satisfactory explanation as to why, for example, this wasn't put on the early government warning uh, system, uh, and how nobody, everybody's oblivious to this, in particular the minister for finance. No one bothers to tell him. Time is uh, up, Deputy, Deputy, please. I've been following this debate very closely over the last couple of weeks, and it seems to me that nobody, or at least virtually nobody, uh, is opposed to building uh, a new National Children's Hospital for our children. And while it's been promised for decades by many governments, it is now being delivered, now under construction, at the first phase opening in Blanchestown next year, uh, the final project being completed by 2022 uh, or 2023. And nobody is disputing the government's decision, which we made in December, to proceed with the project. We are faced with three possibilities. Uh, one, to cancel the project altogether and set aside over 250 million euros invested in the project to date. Second, to retender it, which would have delayed it and probably ended up costing even more. Or third, to proceed. And we decided to proceed. And very few people um, opposite uh, have argued uh, that we made the wrong decision uh, to, to proceed uh, at that time. And as I said, this isn't an issue of taxpayers' money being wasted but it is an issue uh, of the government and its agents underestimating the true cost of this project. And we accept responsibility for that, and we are accountable for that. As I said earlier, the last three big projects brought in by this government, Lewis Cross City, the M11, the M17 and M18, projects costing between a quarter and a half a billion euros, came in broadly on time uh, and on budget. Uh, and the same way as we accept, we accept the credit for that, uh, we of course accept the responsibility uh, when it goes wrong. Uh, and we do accept responsibility. And we also accept that lessons have to be learned, Cancorl, and perhaps in my next intervention, uh, I can talk about some of the decisions that Cabinet made today in that regard.